So, so I, I've participated three times in the obfuscated C code contest, and all three times I almost cheated because I used functional programming. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your secret. So the first one, I think it's uh, an old algorithm, I think by David Turner again, that computes E, the transcendental number. Yeah. Um, it just keeps spitting out digits and you do it by uh, a base conversion. So you change base for each digit and you just do regular base conversion. And so I took that and I rewrote it in C and sent it in. And I mean, it's, it's hard to understand in Haskell and it's impossible <laughs> to understand written in C and then you format it in a really ugly way. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then, um, so early on they had a limit. You could only have 512 bytes. Um, so the second entry I sent was one that computed prime numbers. Uh, again, using a lazy sieve, the way you would do it in a functional language and then transcribed into C. And I remember my program was uh, 513 bytes. And I mean, th I'm sure there would have been ways to, to fix that. But I decided, oh, if I print in base 2 instead of base 10, I can save one digit. <laughs> <laughs> so it printed primes in, in base 2. It's the only time I've had a recursive main uh, function. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And the third one, that wasn't really a functional problem. I wrote a, a small Haskell, no, sorry, sorry, a small C compiler, a subset of C. I called it obfuscated C. 